Hello there, welcome to Instant Models. My name is Bob Warden and welcome to another Inbox Review. We are going 172nd scale here with a, bring you in a little bit closer, with a P51D Mustang, the North American. Um, it is by Tamiya. Now this kit is new tooled in two, year 2000. So yeah, we're talking just over 20 years old, but it is by Tamiya. So, you know, it's still got, you know, a nice bit of life left into it. So first off, nice bit of box art, as you can see here, it hasn't changed over the 20 years, right? They haven't really reboxed this that much, which is you know, kind of good in some ways. Um, got some two markings on here. There is three sets of markings you get with this kit, but it does show you some on the side. Um, and then a few little bits and bobs as well as what paints to use and all that good, good stuff. So let's open this up and take a look inside. Now it is 176 scale, so, you know, we're not talking loads of parts. It is a World War II fighter. You know, not going to be a massive, massive model. All right, but should be nice and easy. So starting off with our first sprue, our big sprue, our main only sprue really. Um, what we have here is everything pretty much on here. So let's bring you in and what we'll see, right, starting off with our lovely surface detail, right, for the scale that it is, you know, we've got really nice recessed panel lines, right, really sort of crisp. Um, they, do, they don't fade as they go around the 90 degree angle um, we've got recessed rivets in there if we maybe bring you to the wing section All right hopefully you can see those recessed rivets in there as well really sort of bringing this out and showing it off um, a bit more detail on the opposite side as well with some more recessed rivets um, the cockpit where's the cockpit gone now I here we go, we've got some cockpit detail just here with the instrument display panel. Bring you in on that one, as you can see. Nice bit of detail for its scale. Um, we do have, you know, seats, maybe not massively detailed, but you've got to remember the scale. Exhausts, um, our landing gear, as you can hopefully see. Um, things like flash, not really a problem with this. Nice detailed wheels with treads. Uh, flip this over. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I am seeing a ejector pin mark inside that wheel well door, which, you know, it is an old kit. You've got to accept a little bit. Um, we've got another wheel well door here, but I'm not seeing ejector pin marks in there. Nice little bit of detail. Um, we have also some more detail with the cockpit section. Um, yes, there is a ejector pin mark just there, but, you know, it doesn't seem that hard to take care of but there's a nice bit of detail within there um, and the same with the opposite side we've got some detail going on with that also um, so so far actually i am quite impressed we do have another little sprue here with some what looks like fuel tanks and a propeller right really good nice detail we do have the canopy which are normally really good by tamia but we'll We'll quickly get it out so you can see, right? And hopefully you can see, you know, pretty nice and shiny. I'm not seeing any nasty scuffs or any sort of cobweb crack effects or or anything like that. I was put it up to the light. Um, absolutely stunning, as always, from Tammy with that. Um, and then these little um, kind of O-ring, rubber O-ring kind of things. I forget what those are called, but um, those are probably, I am guessing normally for things like fuel tanks and stuff or maybe it's for the propeller um, we'll check that out in the instructions so first off we have our decals or decals whichever you want to call them um, i've got a bit of a matte finish on there uh, the colors do look nicely lined up and in registry um, you know the, the small writing is you know maybe you know if you kind of got a magnifying glass on it you wouldn't be able to read it but um, you know there's an, enough there to kind of represent small writing the colors look good they are by Tamiya so you know generally you want to be using the Mr. Um, Mark Setter and Softener sort of kind of products Microsoft and Set don't normally you know quite cut it um, but moving along again same usual instructions when it comes to Tamiya whereby we have a nice bit of a description nice plain black and white paper it does fold out which is not my preferred sort of method but still um, nice simple building the cockpit 
building up the wheels, bringing your two fuselage halves together, uh, bringing the bottom part of the wing section on first the fuselage, then the top part of the wing sections on top of that. Um, and then all sorts of little bits and bobs. Oh, and there's the poly cap. It's for the propeller to help the propeller move and probably stay on a bit better, right, even though you get two of them. Uh, then we've got the canopy, um, which I do believe can be open or closed. You've got the option to add fuel tanks, um, landing gear. Doesn't show them in the up position, but um, you know, I'm kind of presuming you could probably close it if you wanted to. You normally can. Um, it would be nice if they showed it to be a bit more clear. And then we have nicely our three sets of markings. As you can see just there, it looks like some nice kind of different variations and all sorts to go with that. So all in all, um, you know, it's a nice cheap kit. I mean, this kit retails at $12.99. Um, it is available in the Genesis model store. And, you know, actually, I do kind of forget to say, actually, these actual kits that I do as an inbox review, right, I normally put them up in the store um, with a nice big percentage off just to sort of, you know, account for the fact that I've opened them. So there is potentially a bargain in there for you guys who watch these step by, uh, sorry, these rapid video, rapid, uh, get them all tongue twisted here, these inbox reviews and you can get yourself some nice um, cheap kits. But, you know, I only do one of them, so there's only going to be one available. Once it's gone, it's gone. Um, but still, you know, for $12.99 RRP, you know, really, really nice cheap kit. You know, it is... Uh, a nice, quick, simple, easy build. You know, it's got all the detail there. You know, it might be 20 years old, but you could almost pass that as a brand spanking new kit, how good it looks um, and a new tool. So, um, you know, it's definitely a big thumbs up here at Genesis Models for Tamiya's P51D Mustang 172nd scale. But as always, until next time, my name is Bob Waldron, this is Genesis Models, and I hope you've enjoyed.